Congressman, good to see you. Your response to McCarthy's tweet. It's very irresponsible, uh, Alicia. And, and in fact, uh, it only will delegitimize law enforcement. And I worry about law enforcement and the target that this puts on their back, and not just federal law enforcement, but every cop who walks the beat, who was just told by the most powerful uh, Republican in the country, the Speaker of the House, uh, second in line to the presidency, uh, that our criminal justice system is illegitimate. And, and so that makes, uh, that puts them uh, and their, their lives and their family at risk. Look, this, this is a, a somber time that we are approaching for our country. We've never had a president in this position. And Donald Trump deserves equal protection under law. He deserves the same rights that any defendant would receive. And this is something, if it happens, uh, not to celebrate uh, or destroy. And, and so uh, I hope that every leader approaches this uh, responsibly and, and with caution. Congressman, you know, as you've pointed out, it was Donald Trump who broadcast the FBI search of Mar-a-Lago for classified documents. That turned out that part to be true. He's now broadcasting an arrest, his preferred response from his followers. We don't know yet if either is based in fact, if either will come to fruition. That said, there's reporting that predates Trump's remarks on Truth Social. What preparations do you want to see put in place should any of this come to pass? Well, it's clear, Alicia, that... You know, the FBI did not want to publicize uh, their effort to get back the stolen documents. Donald Trump did that. And then an FBI office uh, within a couple of days uh, was shot up. Uh, you know, it, it was attacked. Uh, and, and now uh, here we have a potential indictment. And Donald Trump, again, is suggesting he knows the day that that's going to happen. And that's going to inspire and incite uh, violence. And, and my fear is, is that... Uh, we have to be prepared for that. Uh, and again, America's leaders uh, have to be very measured and careful uh, in how we talk about that. And that's, that means not undermining law enforcement. And that also means not cheering uh, for an indictment and just cheering, rather, for the rule of law uh, to prepare. We're going to prepare, uh, I know, uh, my team uh, for any violence, because we're seeing an increase in threats uh, to me and, and my family uh, over the last uh, week or so. Uh, and I hope law enforcement across the country is prepared, too. I got to ask you, as a former impeachment manager, when, when you look at this case, when you look at Georgia, which is just hanging out right there in the background, where do you believe this all fits in the broader quest for accountability? Well, certainly there's the potential that this will not be the only indictment. And that's what worries me, is that Donald Trump is creating a, a tinderbox-like like environment, and he's ready to drop the match uh, with his uh, rhetoric, because you have uh, Georgia and a potential in, in indictment. You have January 6th and, and also the uh, theft of those top secret documents that are being investigated. And there's a cascade of civil suits uh, that are going down the track uh, and bringing him in for depositions and perhaps a trial. And so uh, his words have impact. And, and again, it has inspired violence in the past. And I'm just fearful that uh, if we're not prepared and, and America's leaders don't condemn this, uh, it could be much worse.